Hello, welcome on in. We are here for Celestial Strengthening, and we're going to be going over two og hems and the tree spirits that are associated with these og hems, these symbols. Now we have tin, tinny, and this is a straight line with three notches to the left. And this Oghem, this symbol, means to overcome challenges consciously. And I love that we are reviewing this symbol uh, at this cycle because we have and are going to be experiencing a first quarter. And the first quarter is all about going against the flow and overcoming challenges. And notice how it's consciously overcoming challenges, not just allowing whatever happens, happens, recognizing that you have the conscious choice to overcome any challenge that comes your way. The tree that is associated with this beautiful Oghem is holly. And Holly is known for their its protective abilities, specifically from negativity and demons. It has been um, spoke about how that could have also been the crown of Jesus because of its thorns. Uh, but what I do love is that it used to be hung up and... <laughs> I feel like it currently still is being hung up on people's doors. So if you see a wreath with holly, it's assisting in protecting and warding off demons and evil spirits. What's also really cool about holly and the connection of overcoming challenges is it has a foresight of almost trickery because the trick lays in the challenge. Your soul chose to be challenged and to trick you into bringing out your abilities, bringing out your capacity to consciously recognize the challenge is actually homework for your soul. The challenge is not something to fret about. It's something to be overjoyed in using your techniques that you've learned along the way. And this brings hope. So Holly also has a sense of hope to renew your abilities and utilize your techniques that you've been learning and mastering throughout your lifetimes. Uh, for Qi in Feng Shui, Holly is also known to protect your home. And we have in South America, it has been used as a cleansing symbol. So it cleanses your soul. And then for North Americans, the berries have been made into tea for heart health. For the second family tribe, I'll speak a little bit more about that, but just know that this is a very protective oghem and tree spirit, specifically warding against those challenges. And when we think of challenges, people's People are tempted to entertain their inner demons. People are tempted to say, oh no, I can't overcome that. That's not in me. And they allow this lower aspect of themselves that isn't from their heart center to overcome them. So allowing Holly Spirit to assist you during those times is really beautiful. What is attracted to Holly? Pollinators are attracted specifically to the berries and also birds are attracted because holly does have tough leaves and it has spines on the branches it can be difficult for mammals to get to it as well even if a mammal were to get to holly it is poisonous to us to mammals so we wouldn't want to do that and then we have coal this is our next og hem and it has one line down and four notches to the left. And this is all about using your skills and your wisdom. Typically, this is almost the phase after a first quarter. How do you use your skills that you obtain after overcoming a challenge and you can use it to inspire others. Say, hey, I went through this difficult time, but I have this technique and this skill. Have you used these before? This is what Hazel is about. Now that tree connected to the Oghem is hazel, and it's the tree of wisdom, the tree of inspiration. Um, 
let me get into story time. <laughs> so story time is there was once nine trees. Each tree holds a dimension and they're circling around the well of wisdom, the pool of portal to the universe, to the divine. And the hazel trees would drop their hazelnuts into this well of wisdom, into the pool, the portal of divinity. And salmon, being the fish of wisdom, would eat the hazelnuts. And when they would eat them, if you were to eat the fish, you would have this eternal wisdom. And you could see even on the fish, the different spots would show how many hazelnuts it ate and how much wisdom it acquired. So that is something that is held within the hazelnut tree. And it's also said that the hazelnut tree in Celtic folklore, that the hazelnut tree is the first tree to ever be planted on our planet. This coincides with my theory that trees are not of our planet. My theory is <laughs> or that trees are from other planets and beautiful star beings brought these different types of trees with their wisdom and knowledge and planted it within our planet and now our planet has beautiful wisdom and that's why we use trees for what they know and a lot of certain uh, starseed beings connect with specific trees because it's from their natural land. And that's just showing off that hazel is one of those trees that was one of the first to be planted on our beautiful planet holding specific wisdom that our planet was not used to, that our planet was just downloading. And the druids knew this and that's why they deemed the hazelnut tree to be sacred. Another beautiful thing is the attraction. I wasn't able to write down all the attractions. Well, for one, it's kind of hard to see my writing on here. Two, hazelnut trees attract everything. The one thing I did want to point out are moths because I recognize not a lot of trees attract moths and the hazelnut tree does attract moths. And this is that unconsciousness of knowing you are transforming. So it's a bit different from a butterfly. A butterfly knows that they are physically transforming. Moths have this unconscious ability to understand their emotions and their spirit is transforming. So knowing that and connecting with Hazel when you are needing to understand where your wisdom came from and how you're able to move after a challenge because even overcoming a challenge you could be left with trauma you could be left with shock and hazelnut tree simmers the shock and allows the trauma to be unwound from you so that's the beautiful Og hems that we are working with to strengthen our intuition. Let's get into a meditation. So if you want to practice the three S's of meditation, we will be meditating with Holly Spirit. So you can see those spines that I was speaking about earlier. I will go ahead and draw the Hazel Spirit Og hem with my crystal here, you're welcome to utilize these symbols anyway. And then on my releasing arm, I'm going to draw the holly symbol. And even on my paper, I'm going to continue connecting with Hazel. So now, 
if you want to be in tree pose, savasana pose, or fish pose, you're welcome to do any of those poses or however you are comfortable as we get into meditation. Rotating your ankles before you complete your position. Take a deep inhale through your nostrils. Exhale out of your mouth. Roll your shoulders back. Wiggle your fingers. Regulate. Where are your emotions sitting in your body? We're going to bring your emotions up towards your crown, allowing your emotions to be understood that you are experiencing life as a human. We're going to allow Hazel Spirit to wash over Salmon Spirit into our mind into our third eyes, into our heart and our soul as we shift and transform into beautiful salmon. through the well of wisdom. Notice as you peek your head above the pool, you can see the beautiful nine hazel trees around you. Recognize as each flow and bend and dip their branches within the water, allowing acorns, allowing the berries, allowing the leaves to trickle into the pool of portals. Recognize which hazelnuts are you going after. Really utilize your salmon eyes to see which hazelnuts are needed for your inspiration, which hazelnuts are needed for your wisdom. Continue swimming and allow a moth, a very large moth, to pick you up out of the well of wisdom. As the moth is picking you up, it carries you past the nine beautiful dimensional hazel trees and lays you in a bed of leaves as you shift back into your human form. Notice what skill sets are coming up for you. 
Take a deep inhale through your mouth. Hold. Exhale out of your nostrils. Rotate your ankles. Rotate your wrists. Move your neck clockwise. Counterclockwise. Now take note of your meditation with Hazel Spirit and utilize this meditation anytime that you are experiencing a challenging time and you need a bit more insight of your own personal wisdom. Thank you so much. Namaste blessed.